Welcome back for another fictionalhead.com quick tutorial. Uh, today's tip is a brush handling tip in Illustrator um, for when you're trying to make a brush that has kind of a distinct end or maybe even two distinct ends but the center is kind of ambiguous. You want that to be the part that moves around. Um, what you can do is instead of having say if this is my brush and I want this to stretch along whatever path I'm doing, like a circle or like this spiral here. Um, instead of just making your brush and making it an art brush and having it go in a direction, like I'm gonna have it go in this direction here. When I apply it, what that does is it stretches the length of this brush along the entire path. And you get some really <coughs> usually undesired results because this little fancy end of the brush that you want is now being stretched over almost the entirety of the whole thing. Uh, the way to handle that is in your brush settings, instead of stretch to fit stroke length, you actually select stretch between guides. Um, and what you do is you can adjust these guides for where you want the stretching to occur. So if I were to uh, here, and this might be too tiny to see, but I'm basically just moving the guide right below um, where the pattern stops so that it's just the line part. If I move that to there and then say OK and apply to stroke, you can see that it it's stretching the, um, or rather it's not stretching the pattern part here. It's actually drawing the, the line and then in that last distance will always be this same distance so it's not going to stretch out my pattern. So if I were to have brush now, like let me do a new one here, and do something like this, you can see that instead of continuing to stretch this uh, the longer the path gets, like if I keep going with this path here, that um, decorated end of the brush actually just keeps moving further and further toward the end and it doesn't stretch over the full length of the path. So if I were to switch that back, you can see that it's getting all stretched out. Whereas if I leave it stretch between guides, it's keeping it at the end. Um, and that, that can be extremely helpful for when you're doing sort of artsy flourishes and things like that to avoid um, stretching your path over the entirety of the swirl or the stroke or whatever. This way you can, you can just design some fancy endings and then reuse those fancy endings without um, distorting them. So that's the tip. If you have any questions, shoot them to me on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter, and I hope it was helpful.